Will the master sword from Zelda slice a watermelon? Does this cologne really make you smell like a character from Red Dead Redemption? Today, we are reviewing products inspired by video games and figuring out which one's the best. Okay, I've got Daly and Daniel right here. They are our video game experts. Welcome D&D. First product, I think you all will recognize this one. Let's take a look. We're bringing in the master sword. Okay. Let's check it out. This is the Master Sword. Ooh. Oh, it's an actual sword. From <laughs> Zelda. Is that sharp? It's a little sharp. Link to the Past, 1992 was the first time that the Master Sword was actually shown off. We all remember that game. You want to put it to the test? Oh my god, yes! I got one hydro melon. I'm looking forward to eating this, so you better be able to slice it open. Okay, here we go. I feel like I need to scoop back for this. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like I need to scoop back. Right, I hope the blade doesn't come right. loose. Same. Do I have to do a link scream? Uh, yeah, right. otherwise it won't work. All right, ready? Nicely done. Enjoy some hydro melon from Hyrule. Beautiful. Okay, it's a little bit messy. <laughs> it tastes like a melon. What do y'all think? About the melon? or About the master sword. We're not oh, reviewing the melon. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's iconic. 10 out of 10, honestly. Yeah. 10 out of 10 out of the gate. Yeah. Okay, you two, you have to decide together where is this going on the podium of gaming. One. It's one. Yeah. One. This is going on the top Put spot. It to the top. Put it into the box. Okay, next product, let's check it out. What are you doing? Killing time. Your watch is broken. Or is it? This is Joel's watch from The Last of Us. Uh, it is broken. It actually does work, so it keeps time inside wow, of there. Oh, that's so cool. I love the little pillow it comes on. Yeah. I just gotta say, that's really cute. <laughs> that was the pillow he was laying on, I think, from oh the clip. God. So I haven't played The Last of Us. It's been on my list for a very long time. I know it's a very good game, but I think the design outside of the game is a really cool design. Without spoiling it, is the watch actually evil? No, it's <laughs> no, not evil. The watch is not an evil Joel thing. is evil. We can no, all agree not. that Joel is no, evil. No, he's not. He's just selfish. That's okay. You can be selfish sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Hitler was selfish. Damn. I mean, it is pretty cool that it's like perfectly broken. To be honest, I think if you wore this around, people would say, hey, your watch is broken. Yeah, but what a conversation piece. You're like, no, it's not. Yeah, no, it's yeah. totally working. I just broke the glass. It's from the video game. <laughs> I like it. Okay, I'll say one last thing. Joel is the antichrist, in, like just like by definition. All right, you want to yeah. do the ranking thing? <laughs> Where's Joel's watch going to go, you two? I think you might have a little debate on your hands. You know what? We can put it two for now. We'll see how it goes. I think it's pretty cool. This next product is going to give you two a burst. Let's check it out. Mm. That made me feel a little woozy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out what it does to us. This one is the Juggernog. Oh, that's awesome. Why is it empty? Uh, apparently, they just put the red food dye in it, oh. and you have to put your own liquid in it. Are you serious? That's depressing. This is $8. That's that's too much. And like the sticker is not even very high red. So. No, it's not. <laughs> do you all want to do the honors here? Do I hit it like over the... No. Oh. I feel a little woozy. Twist it. Oh gosh, yeah, that's oh, red as everything. All right. Okay, I mean, it looks. That's a strong die. Yeah. I gotta give him props because, like, clearly Call of Duty did not license this. No. Oh boy. All right, we'll see if Daily survives this episode. <laughs> I feel a little woozy. I'm not even putting it on the podium. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu skull! Oh my god, that's amazing. Ugh. Wait, are, are his ears bones? His ears are bones now. That is wild. Artist who's selling this on a website for $45. Woo. I don't know, I think that's pretty good. I think I read that uh, the artist like took a bunch of different animals and their like facial structures and like created it after real animals. So this is not licensed, this is inspired by Pikachu. So this is electric rat skull. Electricity not included. I like macabre, I like cute. I'm putting this on number two personally. Yeah, I'll give you two. Okay. I think two works. <laughs> is that what they sound like? Of course. <laughs> Let's get scientific with this next one. Oh, 
portal book oh. in. Oh my god! So good. So it looks like the little guy is going through your books when you set this up, and they light up. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> now you're thinking with portals. Let's see how it looks when we use them. Perfect. There you go. Were you a big Portal fan? I love Portal. Portal is like one of my all-time favorite video games. Now this was done by an independent artist. You can kind of tell it's 3D printed. Yeah. They also made this, which is kind of cool. They sent to us. Oh, this is the companion yes. cube. <laughs> oh, it lights up too, I think. Oh yes. God, wait, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going with number two, definitely. I'm comfortable with putting it at number two. Joel's watch is out of here. No, it's broken anyway. Get rid of that thing. Also, he's the devil. This next product might not quite fit the theme, so we're not gonna rank it amongst the video game stuff, but let's check it out. This is the Shark Geek Retro 67, and it's a fast charger that was inspired by the design of a retro map. And another really cool feature that's unlike other chargers is the fact that the display actually works. Oh my God, I love it. Here's the little guy. The Macintosh, right? This is the OG. Oh, that's oh. so cool. You're living in a simulation. All right, let's see it. Oh, okay, so it actually like has numbers on there the front. It's speed, it's charging speed. We're not ranking it, but you can get it at bat19.com. All right, for this next one, we're going back to Hyrule. Woo! This is the Ultra Hand arm sleeve. I've been wanting this ever since I started playing the game. <laughs> this is awesome. This is from Tears of the Kingdom, which uh, just got released uh, this year. So we can't talk any spoilers, especially the one where Link dies. Oh man, did we make his skull at least? No, but he is Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this would be really good for cosplay. Cosplay, yeah. He had like the black glove over it. Ultra Hand will pick things up and glue things together. It's $15 per sleeve. Okay. We're just gonna see Daniel wearing these around the office. I was gonna say, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of these. And if you really love these, we have a link in the description. Check it out. Link in the description? <gasps> Where is this going on the podium? You already got one Zelda item. I don't know if I wanna put it on the podium. <laughs> I love it, but at the end of the day, it's just a sleeve. It is. All right, let's check out the next product. Ah, uh, the wingman. The wingman was always a weird gun. One that you could only use if you had godlike aim, and the one we'd always miss our shots with every time we picked it up. So all I know about this is that this gun sucks. Ooh, what is it? Shoot. Why did he aim it at me when he was yeah, doing a test right fire? <laughs> then he needed to reload. Oh, oh, that's pretty neat. So I guess this is kind of more like a prop. Apex Legends is a battle royale. It got pretty popular, and this was just one of the handguns. Guess it doesn't aim well. It's good. You gotta get good. If you have good aim, man. it's really good. The reloading is way cooler than the firing, so I like what that. What firing? It, yeah, well. So it's twenty dollars. I'm gonna give that a big thumbs, medium down. I don't think this deserves to grace the podium. If it was a Nerf gun, I probably would have put it at like two. The Bowsette Backpack. Oh, that's pretty cute. That is actually pretty cute. Pretty good quality. Um, not a not a ton of space. Yeah, wanna try it on? I don't wanna try it on. It looks cool. It looks cool. But yeah, I don't like that it doesn't have any front pockets. It's a nice quality shell. And also, if you're like doing go-karts, you could just throw this at people. I would give this to my daughter. Do you think it goes on the podium? I, I think it does. Are we allowed to move stuff around? You wanna move board stuff board. around? I wanna Let's put Pikachu put on number two. No! Whoa. And put this on number three. Three. Can only move it down. Oh, fine. Get rid of the skull. Fine. I'm not happy about it. Okay, this next product uh, will maybe help keep track of your life. What? There it is. Oh. oh my God, stop. The Plum Bob, which I guess they call this the Plum Bob. Plum Bob. <laughs> I think this thing is really Cavalork. Canoof de Diva Da. Oh, I got it. Scared the crap out of me. I thought she was having a stroke. <laughs> I love this. I have played The Sims a lot, and I think this is so fun. It's magnetic, so you can take it apart. I thought that was a real diamond. Try to find a switch on there to turn it off. You have to pull the diodes out to turn it oh. off. Wait, wait, so you, is some assembly required? It's very DIY. It looks pretty it's good, It's pretty though. good, yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess it's just a shape. It's not that impressive if you just think of it as a shape, but neither is a broken watch. I want to put it on number three. Number one? Oh. I I feel like we've agreed on a lot of things today. I feel like we're not really like pushing each other too much. So let's go number three for this. <laughs> yeah! And The Sims, now at number three. All right, so I'm gonna take you back to the old west. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. 
This is Arthur Morgan. Are we getting his hat? You're going back to his stagecoach to get his cologne. This yeah. is what he smelled like. I haven't played Red Dead, but cowboy perfume, I'm into it. If you haven't played it, it goes a little something like this. I told you I'm not going up on that mountain, Dutch. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. That smells really good. Actually you like it? Good. Smells like redemption. It's only $10. Okay, definitely leather, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of pine or grass. I did. This I is like awesome. It. I know where I'm putting this one. Yeah, at number, number two. two. I'm putting it at two. I'm putting it at number two. At number two. Dude, at number two, Dutch. Okay, this next one comes from one of my personal favorite games. Look at that weapon. Okay, that's... Slicing and dicing. This is just Kyle and Break It to Make It. So, so we get an axe. <laughs> Oh. Leviathan X ball opener. I'm guessing it's not sharp. That's actually not bad. Okay, on closer inspection, it actually looks like metal on top. You got the little rhinestones. It's like Mjolnir and then it like comes back to you after you throw it. So oh. I'm assuming that doesn't work like that. I can try it and throw it at Santa. That's gonna hurt your camera. <laughs> Sandin is bleeding heavily right now. All right, we got the world's most sour soda here. Woo! Staying, yes. it's filled to the brim. Now this was like lightly marketed as a bottle opener. Lightly, lightly marketed. I could say the same thing about my car. It could technically open a bottle. There's yeah, like that. Oh. Well, okay, well I broke the keychain. Oh, well. God. Don't aim it at me. Is that doing like a knife? I mean the Leviathan X. It's made to chop up bad guys. Oh, it's not. There it is. Oh, God. Oh. Daniel just sucks. Agreed. <laughs> wow. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Sting. Do that to you. It's made really well. I just don't think it's going to take over anything over there. Get out of here, boy. <gasps> All right, let's take a look at our next product. I think this one might beat your top. Let's go. Yeah. Keyblade. It's got a keychain just like the video game. Yeah. So does Sora kill people? Um, not people. He kills Heartless, which are the bad guys in the game. Did you know he's voiced by Haley Joel Osment? I see dead people. And he still voices them. Dang. Hi, Haley Joel Osment, if you're watching this. He probably is. This is also how he gets into his car. I haven't done one of these in a minute. How does one wield the Keyblade with such finesse and beast mode excellence? Beast mode excellence. <laughs> Let the Keyblade sort of fall forward the wrist dexterity, because it's all on the wrist. Eric, why don't you try it out? Whoa! Wait a minute. Why is Eric really good at that? What do y'all think? I think it's probably one of the best things that's ever happened in my life. I don't think it's as cool as a Master Sword. Where's it going? That's number two. I think it'll take number two and we'll push down. Arthur Morgan sense number three. Yeah. yeah. Whose swords end up on the podium? We're just violent people who want to smell nice. It's locked in and that's been our show, so we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye, Haley Joel Osment. Bat 19. Da.